Hello, 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 people. This is Dr. Nelson from Healthy Love Clinic in Mwanza, Tanzania. Well, I'm bringing you to a topic saying, don't wait to unlove. Don't wait to unlove. What I mean? Well, what I mean here is that, well, sometimes you are in a relationship and you find yourself struggling to stay happy. You are struggling really to feel really loved by the person you are in a relationship with. That is not a healthy thing. Number one, you need to always remember, somebody who loves you will always make effort to make you feel loved. If he or she doesn't make effort to make you feel loved, then you're just wasting your time. And that's not a very good thing to do in this world. Someone said, I just needed someone beautiful to follow in love with. Someone said, I just needed somebody beautiful to fall in love with. Well, you can be beautiful but not lovable. Because you need to have inner qualities that will always attract a person to stay with you in a loving relationship. If you don't have those inner qualities, no matter how beautiful you are outside, I mean, you are going to face a lot of trouble in your relationships. So, I think <laughs> you need someone who really knows how to calm your storms, you see. Sometimes you don't feel good about yourself. You need someone who really shows that you're still valuable, though you have some mistakes, you have, some, you, you have things which are not right, you see. But somebody needs to know, feel, you, feel you, you're still special to him. Somebody will go out of his way to make you happy. You see, if somebody is not is, is not making effort to make you happy, what's the point of staying in a relationship with that with that kind of person? Well, what's the point? <laughs> somebody said this: never go in search of love. Go in search of life, and you'll find all that you need. Never go. In search of love, go in search of life. What does it mean? As a person, you've got a life of your own. You know the things which make you excited. You know the things which makes you happy. You know the things which makes you proud of yourself. Those things should be dear to you. If somebody who, who claim to love you is interfering what you see as something of value to you, and you're trying to explain to him, you're trying to help him understand how much these things are of value to you. For example, you are a believer and every Sunday must go to church. This is something which you grew in a family which never misses church. And if your partner says, well, let's make love, don't go to church, and you know God is somebody who's of value to you, why, why should you listen to him? You need to help him understand, well, this is important to you. And he need to respect that. If he can't respect what is of value, to you, why should you expect his or hers? So you, you, I mean, you need you, you, you need to value yourself enough so that when you say no, it's going to stay no. You know, it doesn't mean when when you say no and somebody gets angry, it does not mean that you should have said yes. I repeat this: when you say no and your partner gets angry, it does not mean you should have said yes. That is how you teach him or you train him to love you for who you are with all your corners and little nasty things, you see? Because that's how you teach him. Because we are all different. So we're all different. So we're all different with different interests, different values. So you need to help your partner understand, well, this is important to me. No matter how you feel about it, this is very important. There's no neg negotiation about this. So, you know, don't pretend that it's everything as if it's okay. Yes, sometimes, of course, you've got to compromise. Yes, I know. But there are values, principles that you need to hold on to for you to feel fully alive. So don't compromise everything. So, I mean, yes, there's a place to compromise, yes. But there's a place where I say, no, you can't cross this line and feel safe with me. So there should be boundaries. Well, your partner knows I cannot cross 
these lines, these boundaries without hurting my partner. <laughs> Listen, your task is not to seek love, but to merely find value that you treasure. So seek life, how you enjoy your life, you are proud to be alive. This is what you need to experience in a true, genuine relationship. Sometimes you will feel bad about him or her. You feel bad about this and that. So sometimes you feel bad. But the thing is, if he he is teachable, he's willing to listen to you. He is humble enough to say, "Well, uh, I made a mistake. Uh, sorry." And he corrects himself. Then that's give you a nice thing to work on. Someone who is willing to admit when he's wrong. Someone who is willing to say, "I'm sorry," and make effort not to repeat the same mistake, this is somebody who value to you. Someone who love you wouldn't put themselves in a position to lose you. I'll repeat this statement. So, somebody who loves you will never put himself in a position whereby there's a danger, there's a risk of losing you. For example, somebody who cheats on you. He is putting himself in a position where you can say it's over. No, I cannot live with a cheating woman. You see, I, I cannot share with another, uh, any other man. I, I don't want to share a woman with another man. I don't want to share a man with another woman. So he needs to know that this is leather. If you do this, everything is dead. You see, so I think, I think you need to know that. You need to remember that someone who truly loves you wouldn't put themselves in a position to lose you by doing something foolish by doing something stupid so he need to have your values in his mind or in her mind that well if i really goof here i'm gone he didn't know for sure so you need to be strong enough to stand for your values okay do you hear me you need to be strong enough to stand for what you treasure <laughs> You cannot find love in the arms of someone who acts as if they hate you. I repeat this statement. You cannot find love in the arms of someone who acts as if he hates you. Someone who is hurting you. He doesn't pick your calls. And you tell him, no, I don't like this, but he keeps on doing it. Someone tells you, you tell your partner, I don't want you, I mean, you, you, I, I don't you, I don't you to, uh, to, 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 to be busy with your, with your cell phone when I'm around. I don't want you. I don't want, I want when I'm here, I am, should be given a priority. So if your partner doesn't give you a priority, what's the point of having him in your life? What's the point? <laughs> Baby, <laughs> wake up, wake up. If you really value yourself, you need to really be excited about this person. And this person should, be, should give you a reason to be excited about. See, a person who is in love with you should give you a reason to be excited about him or her. If he doesn't give you a reason, what's the point of having him in your life? What's the point? Yeah. Tell him to fuck off. <laughs> I mean, you need to value yourself. You know what? If you consider yourself of great value, somebody who throw you away he is the one who is losing not you if you if, if if you really know your own value as a person as a as an individual if somebody if somebody mistreat you he is the one who is losing not you it's like a blind person when you give a blind person uh, uh 10 kilos of gold he will just think well this is just another stone okay because he doesn't see this it's a gold it's bill it's worth billions of dollars see he doesn't see it as a value something of value you see, so I think if, if he doesn't see your value, he'll mistreat you. He'll mishandle you. He'll, he'll be boring and he'll be acting crazily and hurt your feelings. And don't say, I love you. I love you. Please don't do this to me. No, tell him, I hate this. If this goes on, I'm gone. <laughs> he needs to know there is consequences. He needs to know. He, he need, she needs to know there is consequences if we keep on behaving the way he is behaving now. I tell you, I've got some more to tell you. Just subscribe to this channel and you have more sweet things to hear from this channel. My God bless you.